The wider determinants of health. Natural resources play a vital role on the health and well-being of our population. Positive health and well-being means experiencing good health and enjoying feelings of wellness, happiness, contentment and curiosity. It also means being fully engaged with others and our surroundings. These elements are complex and interdependent. They are often called the wider determinants of health. The health map illustrates the relationship between human health and wider influences. In basic terms, we can think about these determinants as the infrastructure that surrounds us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the environment that makes up our places and spaces, and our interactions with that infrastructure, how we live, work, learn and play, and the personal lifestyle choices we make. Our global ecosystems... Climate stability and biodiversity are vital for human survival as they provide the food we eat, the water we drink and the air we breathe. However, the climate and nature emergency are impacting on these systems. For example, we are seeing an increase in hot weather and a decrease in cold days, increased extreme weather events that can cause droughts and floods which can bring risk to life and impact mental health. Impacts on the provision of goods, such as food, medicine, through a loss in biodiversity. Native insect and tick species becoming more capable of transmitting diseases that affect humans. Politics, the wider economy, culture and other global forces also impact our health and well-being and have cumulative impacts across all determinants. The natural and built environments such as parks, watercourses, natural habitats, buildings and streets surround us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and are vitally important in influencing our day-to-day -day quality of life. Creating healthy places and spaces free from environmental risks help people thrive. This includes having access to green and blue infrastructure close to homes connections to broader land and seascapes, regulating and reducing air, water and noise pollution, providing attractive and resilient placemaking that works for nature and people, well-designed buildings for decarbonisation and human well-being. Where these are missing or limited, there is likely to be a negative impact on health and well-being. When we create healthy places and spaces, we create opportunities for people to have healthy interactions. The way we live, work, learn and play contributes to our well-being and fulfilment, and supporting creativity and innovation is good for individuals, the community and the local economy. People thrive when they engage in employment, education, training and learning, have good working and living conditions with community safety, have access to quality services such as public transport and amenities, active travel routes, leisure and health services, do not experience food and fuel poverty, are free from personal and household debt, experience a resilient local economy. Natural resources play a vital role in all these areas, being in, learning about and becoming advocates for the natural environment are good for people and for nature. Good living, working and learning can provide people with the ability to inform life choices and contribute to community life. Lastly, we focus on resilient communities and lifestyle choices. These are the choices most close to us and are heavily influenced by the areas we have already covered. Our individual lifestyle choices are influenced by own personal values and opinions and affect our own and other people's lives. They include being physically active, healthy food choices, behaviours such as drinking and smoking, social interactions, participation in community life. These choices also influence and can help create resilient communities through interaction with others. These include inputting into community decisions and influencing public life, 
creating an individual and shared sense of control, combating social isolation and loneliness, increasing neighbourliness and social cohesion. So to recap, health and well-being is made up of various determinants which fall into four key areas. These four areas are all interconnected and we need to work across society to take action. Natural resources play a vital role across all of the wider determinants of health, whether that be the availability and state of the natural infrastructure that surrounds us or how we interact with that infrastructure and others. Natural resources are vital to health and well-being. Actions that benefit natural resources benefit people.